Hi guys, Kirk and Jay here with Kirk Giordano Plastering. Got a question for you guys who watch what we do. Can you tell the difference or does the camera show the difference between this finish here and this finish here? What is this finish guys? You guys should be experts if you've watched any of our videos by now. This is a light dash. What is a dash? It's a thrown on finish or a blown on finish. You blow it with a hand hopper, you throw it on. What is this? This is a heavy float finish. That's pretty close, but if this was painted, this would stick out like an eyesore. It is not the correct texture. But before you do a dash, you do a float, a heavy float finish. That helps you with the, with the dash. I'm going to show you how to do a dash, but first of all, I grabbed a wrench from my truck. Nothing worse than a, a leaky nozzle. How many of you guys know this trick here? All you got to do is take a wrench, and there's washers in this, and you just tighten it, and it will stop that nasty leak. Now, okay, we're getting ready to do a dash. What's well, a dash? Dash brush, because I'm not going to use a hopper, not for this small thing here. Um, and what you want to do, guys, is I'm going to show you the mud I'm using here. Uh, I'm taking this soupy mud here just to prove a point, guys. See this stuff? That looks like soup, doesn't it? If it was stiff, like you, if it was stiff, you wouldn't be able to dash it. And I added a little extra sand, guys. Normally our mix is uh, one and three. Sometimes uh, one and four, depending on what we're doing. See that guy over there? You need a mixer, guys. A mixer really helps things. Uh, okay, now I got my dash mud here. And note, I got it soupy. What it is this? You put it in water first. Get that brush wet, because you put a dry brush into here, it's going to stick on here. It's not going to come off. So now we get this brush. We dip it in. Turn your head. You don't have to look at it. Dip it in and feel that mud. Feel it. See that? Dip it in. Don't worry about it if it gets all over the handle. That's, that's nothing. Okay, if I throw wet mud on a dry wall, it doesn't adhere very well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to miss this. I'm going to miss it and give it a better bond. i got a lot of guys always calling me saying, hey, I, I did a scratch coat and it's terrible. Can I put another scratch coat over it or a brown coat? Can I put another brown coat over it? I say, yeah. But make sure you wet the wall. Give it some proper suction. That's another detail. Okay. Now, to, to do a dash finish, it takes practice, guys. It takes practice. If you throw it and there's a bunch of lumps and clumps, just keep trying. What you want to do is just a flick of the wrist. Flick of the wrist. Dash. Remember that old saying, a dash of salt? That's all we're doing. A flick of the wrist, guys. See that? And you don't have to worry about pipes and stuff. You can cover them, spend all day covering them, or you can do what old Kirk does. Watch this. Okay. I'm just a flick of the wrist, guys. Because when this is painted, I don't want them to call me back and say, hey, Kirk, you know what? That favor you did when you were working on my house on something else and you said you'd take care of it for me? Uh, well, I painted it and it doesn't match. So I'm going to match this dash. There we go. And you, and you notice it comes off in a little pattern, square patterns. It'll come off in any pattern I want. I, I'm using the whole flat surface of it. It's about eight inches here, eight by four. So now here on the corner, I'm going to use that same eight inches. And I'm just going to dab it a little bit. Why? Because I don't want mud all over this side. But you still get a little bit. Last thing before I just a little short thing, guys. Uh, I'm going to mess this up intentionally. All right. Now, this finish here, when painted, will match. You just got to know what you're looking for. After 30 years, I know what a texture will look like before it's painted. So when I saw this, I said, dude, that's not going to match. Uh, he said, well, the other guy who did it said it would. I said, well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do, buddy. I'm here. I will make it match. And you don't have to worry about when you paint it, calling him back and saying, dude, that's an eyesore. It doesn't match. Because if it doesn't match, then that guy will have to come back and put a bonding agent on this and then redash it like what I'm doing. I'm doing this, and it adheres by suction. If it's a painted surface, then you have to put a bonding agent on it. Okay, where the... Where the mud got all over the pipes, guys, a lot of ways to do that. You can, you can spend an hour to 
clean them or cover them or you can just hit it with the water guys and what I'll do is I'll go behind and if any gets on it it's not the end of the world I'll just take it shoot it from behind get it all off of there same here I'll go on this side shoot it from behind if I don't want if I shoot it in the front of course all my work is going to come right off my, my dash hasn't set yet. You just shoot it like so. Get that one last piece here, guys. Did a little union trick. I used to work behind a pump, and I'd be the water man sometimes, and the gun would blow it all over the place. My job was eight hours a day, just take the water hose, clean the roofs, clean the eaves, clean the windows, doors, ground, and I'd just follow that pump. So... That's the easy way to do it, guys, without knocking down your own texture. Anyway, you see where we're going with this. And what I tell folks, like right here where I dashed, hit it first. Hit it first with water so it doesn't stick and it just washes right off. And over here, last thing, guys, transition. See this fence? I'm going to hit this fence with water. Or you could cover it with paper. I'm going to hit it with water, then I'm going to dash that, and I'm going to take this hose right here and knock it right off they're going to paint that fence so it doesn't matter but if you put stucco on certain woods like that instantly it stains it so anyway guys don't do that my name is kirk jason on the camera you get an idea of how to dash properly and why we'll see you on the next one and thanks for watching once again folks we thank you for watching and i really enjoy all your comments if you guys like this video, please click the like button down below. And also, if you enjoy what we do, subscribe to our channel so we can keep making these videos for you. My name is Kirk. And Jay. We thank you for watching. And from the entire Giordano family, we'll, we'll see you on the next one.